Now I would like to request Pankaj sir from Udaipur. He is a very talented, uh, and because of him, we are able to perform the second session. So please, Pankaj sir, uh, start with your uh, presentation. Okay. Uh, thank you, Vanjana, and uh, good evening to all. So today is our uh, current affair topic. So as we all know that the farmers are the backbone of our country, right? Nowadays it is a big topic in our India. Everyone are discussing about the Farmer Bill 2020, right? There are lots of ups and downs. There are lots of positive and negative things. We are listening around us. We are watching at news also. Opposition also uh, deny some points. Our government uh, wants to do something new, something interesting, something profitable for our farmers. As we all know that our government never thinks a wrong way for our farmers, as we all know that, right? So uh, let's discuss what is in our new farmer bill 2020 and uh, i think we all know about this but uh, let's discuss some points here what is in this new farmer bill and what is the ups and downs what is the negativity what is the positivity of this bill right so please sir uh, give me the permission to share my screen yeah you can you can share Okay, sir. Give me one minute. Give me a moment. It is okay. 
yeah that's better okay so ppt is better for us to understand without ppt it is too difficult yeah bhugesh sir is here yeah so srivani is also available now if yes, it, uh, it takes some time to send there and to use it so meanwhile we can invite srivani here to make a presentation hello uh, mr, mr. yogesh sir yeah. i i send you a whatsapp can you please uh, sharing this give me one minute so i am uh, i am talking about the first uh, bill of, of uh, farmer bill in 2020 it is good or not like uh, farmer can uh, sell anywhere in india that is uh, like a infra market uh, it is like a one nation one market situation right farmer can sell anywhere to anyone Pankaj sir, yes. Till now we don't have the such type of uh, marketing for uh, no. agriculture products. Now, now this thing. No, actually, uh, now uh, till now, uh, farmer sell out the uh, sell out the crop to the mandi, right? And mandi will sell to the retailer, and we are buying from the retailer. and in this situation there are lots of uh, money bill expenses on it like uh, some of uh, some of different kind of taxes farmer have to pay to uh, e uh, epmc people i get the middlemen like i get the farmers are not not allowed to uh, sell anything uh, outside the state yes yes right but but they are now, uh, now they are free yeah right Uh, actually yes. according to the government the bills would transform the agriculture sector will be, uh, which will raise the farmers income actually it also our government also promises doubling the farmer income by uh, 2022 right mm -hmm. okay okay is it visible yes sir no sir but you have no? to uh, run the slides sir not open is it not visible no sir no only we have a download file service mm -hmm. no yeah 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 yes yes thanks uh, can you please start from yeah, yeah, beginning yeah. Yes, this one is first page, right? Okay, so this is the slide. Uh, farm will secure our future. Okay, uh, Yogi sir, please uh, go to the next slide. Our uh, honourable prime minister uh, will decide the bill, and it is. also okay stop it okay sir so the farmer the, this is the first bill the farmers produce trade and commerce bill allow barrier free intra and inter state trade of farm producers it means farmer can uh, sell anything in any state it is generate uh, inter state business also and one nation one uh, market previously a farm produce was sold at notified wholesale market and mandi run by 7000 agriculture produce market committee uh, as santam ma'am asked this is the answer so each epmc had licensed middleman who would buy from farmers at price set by auction 
before selling institutional buyers like retailers and big traders so there are also uh, farmers have to pay taxes so it will tax free if uh, in according to this first bill okay so please next next okay wait and uh, the second bill is contract farming there is a option our uh, buyer or our corporation or our private uh, companies will uh, pre contract with the farmers before the farming farmer uh, farm the land before farming buyers can contract with the farmer Uh, in uh, like in this rate i will buy this uh, farm or buy this scope so it is very good for farmers because in any condition there are lots of uh, farmer cops uh, 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 farmer cops uh, we can store and we can say uh, there is no less price for the seeds or less price for the crop in that case farmer are uh, unhappy because of lower price so pre uh, contract in the uh, policy of pre contract the buyer can contract with the far farmer uh, pre contract and uh, buy this crop after the uh, selling next please in this uh, in this second bill farmers become very happy because of it okay next for third bill okay wait and uh, last and third the essential communities bill proposes to allow economic agents to stop food articles freely without the fear of being prosecuted or holding it means uh, any of uh, private buyer can store the cop unlimited stocking it uh, unlimited stocking is in the rule before this uh, buyer can only store limited uh, seed limited cop according to rule but now it will change uh, buyer can uh, store unlimited uh, cop it is useful in our any kind of pandemic or pandemic or crisis so it is very useful for us and our country so uh, please uh, go down this is the three bill uh, maybe if the bill are passes then it will convert into act in some day if there is no obligation so now uh, sir uh, please end it Sir. Okay. Now we are talking about the fakes and liars and truth of the market. There are lots of uh, liar news spreading in the market nowadays uh, regarding this uh, bill. First, first point is uh, MSP. MSP means minimum support price. So there are uh, a fake news spreading in the market in. 20 in bill 2020 it is the policy to do not give msp to farmer it is completely fake the truth is there is no any contraction between farmer bill and msp msp will be same as like now okay the second point is apmc apmc is also the main important role playing the main important role in the in this bill apmc means agriculture procedure market committees it is in our language it is called krishi mandi you all know that mandi like the fake news is now epmc and lots of people lots of uh, um, empowerment are and it is completely wrong epmc also remains same in this bill okay the third point is this bill is against the farmer it is completely wrong the truth is in this farmer farming well by getting the freedom in this bill farmer can sell their crop anywhere in the india so it is very uh, beneficial for the farmer 
and the fourth point is uh, this bill uh, snatch the farmer land if it is contract contractual or pre contract uh, farming so the truth is there is no contract of uh, land it is only the contract of crop so it is also good then uh, then five and last point is this is completely in this bill farmer uh, lost lost lots of things with the big corporation so the truth is in the most of the states farmer are farming with big corporation and getting the new and latest technology by the big big companies and big big uh, corporation and farming their land like that a small farmer also gets the technology and will get big benefit and big profit by this uh, bill or by this uh, uh, next uh, policy of agriculture so that's it from my side if anyone wants to ask any question or discussing then you can see thank you sir uh right so focus do on ask one question yes uh, like uh, if, if it is a pre agreed price between the right. farmer and the buyer or any land so uh, if you you uh, it is there also they can uh, un- they can take unlimited stock for that which can be used in harvest time so uh, so there is any foundation they can go not for the like higher price at the harvest time at the that time like there is some uh, panic situation if they have stock for that like they have purchased for the 20 rupees per kg at the harvest time there is some any foundation otherwise they can sell also for 60 rupees per kg because actually it, in that in that condition what happen there are lots of companies uh, uh, harvesting uh, there are lots of companies storing the lots of crop okay in that time the private company are uh, uh, are the competitor of each other so we can buy anything from uh, lower company price which company give the crop in lower price we can buy this but in this case farmer are safe farmer are safe because they get uh, that money uh, which is decided so yeah i am uh, farmer is safe but farmer has no issue but the profitable is for the uh, buyer like whose company is pre agreed for that and they have purchased it up for 20 rupees there is a some another condition they can if it it will be uh, hand over to farmer at the harvest time so they can earn money from the uh, at that panic situation if it will be hand of the buyer so they will earn according to me is it right actually your question is uh, ah please listen to me hello sir pankaj sir yes yes hello yes sir company yes, sir. are they are here sir when uh, farmer are growing wheat and uh, other eatable uh, things the company and the factory mills uh, they are not clear they are producing the uh, machine made goods so uh, middlemen are there our government are there and feed, uh, that uh, public distribution system is there and in uh, uh, fci food corporation of india is there now government is providing and storing so mill company and factory they are not clear in this uh, matter okay factories companies mill they are not uh, just little man who buy some uh, um, food grain and government but the main thing is that uh, the law is made but what uh, uh, is this implementation that is the main point it if uh, it is implemented in proper way then the farmer get benefited if uh, implementation is not good that is uh, happening in india mostly in uh, most uh, there are several kinds of laws have been made but uh, lack of proper imp- implementation then things are not uh, happening in right way that is the uh, main issue actually actually this is the proposal uh, government will think about that then convert into the act sir so there are lots of ups and downs in the uh, proposal yes yes okay sir okay uh, that's it from my side you can carry on vandana goswami thank you for having me
okay very nice sir well done uh, thank you so much uh, uh, you explain very perfectly so now i would like to request sri vani from kerala for current affair she is a very she is a multi talented and engaged member of our platform so please sri vani start with your content yes ma'am is So good evening, Paul, and welcome. So today, uh, my topic is healthcare system of India. So, but before starting my topic, first of all, I would like to share heartfelt gratitude towards Shubha Sri Ma'am and Papa Ma'am for helping me a lot for making the slides. Also, I would like thank all the members who supported me. so um today my topic is healthcare system of india so some of you might be thinking that why have i taken this topic as current affairs so actually i have taken this topic for current affairs because i want to share about this topic on the basis of corona virus and by this we will be able to understand how much our country and the states have improved in the health system so um, let us move on to the topic this is a graphic of the health system in different states of india so here as you can see this is a chart of the healthcare system or how much has each of the states improved in their health so as you can see kerala tops at first with a percentage of 80 but whereas you can see that the improvement of kerala in health in healthcare is too low it is only minus 3.45 then kerala is followed by punjab then tamil nadu and gujarat Punjab has a percentage of sixty-two point zero two percentage in the healthcare sector, whereas its development or its improvement in the healthcare system is three point one nine. Then Tamil Nadu and Gujarat has won the third position with with a percentage of three point two eight. So at last, you are able to see Uttarakhand over here. Sorry, Uttar Pradesh over here, and uh, this is the state which stays at the bottom part. So it is uh, that hasn't uh, much improved in healthcare system, or it hasn't got uh, much uh, systems in the health sector. but actually when you calculate so here i can show you that this is the um chart or this is the numbers where um the uh, states have improved right now during covid 19 so when check this uttar pradesh is the state that has improved in the health of 5.55 but as you can see the states such as kerala punjab tamil nadu and gujarat that has topped the list has only improved a little bit but uttar pradesh is really improving and we hope that that will surely catch up so here then now i have shown the health system of ancient india so here are two pictures where the health system of ancient india can be seen so is first picture you are able to see a drainage system by this want to make you understand that our ancient india that means the indus valley civilizations a well uh, prepared drainage system which tells us about the hygiene used to be followed by the people during that time and um you will be surprised to hear that each of the houses which were built during that time had oil house see 
that during time let's at their houses and uh, the food waste and all the wastes are uh, gone uh, from the house through a drainage through small small drainage uh, tanks near the house and all these drainage uh, tanks together made up in a big drainage tank that is this one okay so um, all the drainage uh, tanks in these places go uh, and meet up this is big drainage tank so by this we are able to understand their high high level even at that time so my point is that then why couldn't our modern india cannot uh, maintain such hygiene as the ancient india so here yeah, now i have written some points of the hector of india during this covid pandemic because for me up is that so i just showed the ancient india or the ancient health system of india because now in our modern india or at this time india is not even under the top 100 nations in health in health facilities see as you can see in the first point india is not under the top 100 nations in health facilities so now by this we are able to understand that india um, is not at all much good in the health facilities or in the health sector so actually there are many reasons for this so the first reason is the high population okay so the high population is the major reason for this so as you can think of um, Um, or when a high population is there, I'm telling, I'm uh, giving the example when considering our current um, situation that is COVID nineteen. So when high population is there, or when people on hospitals uh, are increased, the hospitals do not have facilities. Especially the government hospitals do not have facilities to look up. because of high population so you can say that high population is a major reason uh, for the decrease of these health sector or these health facilities in our health sector then the third point is that there are only a few government hospitals with much facilities such as ventilator etc so when we take the high position Many people or there are many casualties uh, because of the less um, facilities in the government hospitals. So, which was disconnected? I guess we need third third session also. Only one minute left. Uh, yes. So, yes, yes. so sir, uh, here. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes. You yes, are audible. Yes, you are audible. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. So, when you are audible. Okay. Okay. You just okay. Uh, start sharing. So here. Audio. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. I have started. Can you see? No, no, no. Can no. you see? No, no. No, no. No, no sir. No. Vani, no. I think uh, it will take a little bit more time because you disconnected na so that Yeah now can you see No 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 Hello? now can you see? No Srivani no I, we can't see I think very little time Okay so Srivani, you want to uh, explain more? Yeah. Do you actually, want to explain? Uh, I had some more oh. points. Could I? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Actually, we have very less time. So. Okay. 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 Yeah, Srivani.